Righteousness exalts a nation. As long as the leaders are righteous, you need not fear because my word will prevail. Yes, there are forces of darkness that assail, but I am your citadel of security. There's a big difference between many that are in the Democrat party and those who are Republican, and that difference is clear. One fears God and the other has no fear. And that fearing manifests in various ways. And you will see that there will be massive vote fraud on behalf of those who don't fear God. There will be minimal vote fraud among those who fear God. So therefore, my children, do not fear because God gets the last word. But as I've said, hear America. The Lord is with you while you are with him. And indeed, this nation is at that tipping point. Will there be more who fear him than those who do not? Or is the bucket now ready to tip, if not? But remember, Yahweh is Yahweh Sevaot, the Lord of heavenly armies. I am the ruler of all forces in the universe, forces of good and forces of evil. And surely there has been a great assault against the nations by the forces of evil and nefarious plans are being put in place. Recognize that unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. If in my purpose and timing, it's time for the last days to come, then does that mean you should stop running in righteousness? No, everyone should run in righteousness and do what I say in my word. When you obey me and put my word first and claim the promises that I have given to you, then you've built your house upon the rock. Leave it up to me, but cling to my word and say, so let it be. In the days to come, there will be a lot of posturing. And that's part and parcel of any war or any battle. There's plenty of posturing and there's strategizing and there's surmising. There's determinations and there's manifestations of those determinations. But know this, that the Lord is Lord of all the armies. And I have in my hand the power. I could have sent legions of angels to rescue Yeshua, but he did not call for them because he knew the will of the Father must be done. And I don't want to run against my dad. There's a lot of running going on. Governors are running. Senators are running. Congress and leaders are running. I say to you, my children, don't run against the Father. Run in harmony with the Father. And how you do that is by obeying his law and running according to the law. Those who will run according to the law, I will protect them. And that's why there's going to be minimal voter fraud for those who obey the law. But those who run against God think that they are God and that they can create votes out of thin air. They can run ballots from here to there. They can hide in secret places their nefarious schemes. But I see it all. And you're going to see in the days to come a lot of posturing, positioning, preparing, strategizing. But when it comes to the undertaking of the war, you'd better be on the side of the Lord. So don't fear. You've done your part, as have more and more of my children than in any other voting period. This has been a time where the church has fallen to its knees and called out for God's provision because they're seeing the tipping point. They're seeing the powers of darkness. Elijah knew what was really there, but his servant did not. His servant was in great fear around the city of Dothan when he opened up his eyes, looking and seeing all the armies of those that were against Yah. And he cried to Elijah, Master, look at all the armies gathered around Dothan. They're going to lay siege. We're done for. But Elijah said, I pray, Lord, open his eyes that he might see the army of Yahweh gathered around the 
And indeed, Yahweh opened the eyes of the servant, and in a moment he saw how many angels are on the side of Yah. And because of this, joy leapt into the servant. Oh, I'm so excited, said the servant. Let's enjoy the massacre that we're about to witness, because there's nothing they can do against Yahweh. There are many more with us than they. So it shall be, my children, if you just open your eyes, you don't have to be afraid. If those who are standing on the side of righteousness will continue on and proclaim, and that requires law and requires justice, it requires the courts and the battles within the courts. Now there are judges that are not righteous judges. They don't fear God. They think that they are God in their little courtroom, but don't fear them because I am Lord over them. So you'll see manifestations of voter fraud and ungodly decisions made by those who think they are God. But remember, I hold the judges in my hands and I can cause the tables to turn, even as Yeshua caused the tables to be overturned for those who said they were just, but really they were lovers of mammon, positions and acclaim. So leave the election to me, my children. Leave it into the hands of God-fearing lawyers who know the importance of proclaiming truth against those lawyers who don't fear God and will make up evidence and hide evidence and will commit voter fraud. There will be massive voter fraud. You will see. There will be boxes of ballots that were like a magician draws them out of a hat. Where did that come from? There will be those that hide. Now you see it, now you don't. There will be ballot boxes full of red votes that will be found. And therefore, my children, don't be afraid. Just stay on God's ground. I'll pick you up and carry you. This need not be a prolonged battle. Already the handwriting's on the wall. As President Trump has said, I'm in the lead in so many places. I therefore don't have to be afraid. It's not like it's squeaking by by a tiny bit. The motives behind many of the manipulations of ballots, that's one thing. The numbers of signatures that don't match, that's another thing. The number of addresses that don't match the residents is another thing. And as it was with Chad's in 2004 that were hanging there in Florida, there will be a lot of drawn out procedures. It takes time. And in some cases, they have to hand count one by one and we'll be checking them against voter lists and voter regulations. Are you allowed to vote? Are you a citizen? Who is the person named on this ballot? Does it line up? And all of this is to be taking time. But don't fear, because I've heard your prayers that have called out to me. Please protect the USA. Don't let it tip, Lord. Unless it's your time. We don't want to say, will of man be done, just because we want there to be a winning for Trump but rather we want God's will to be done. So as you posture with that, you still must have faith to win the battle, because in the end, I win the battle. So therefore must you, if you're on the side of Yahweh, the Lord of hosts.